Let's start in the Premier League. Arsenal will visit Wolves tomorrow, and Arsenal will be without Granite Shaka. Unai Emery says he, quote, needs time to recover after the very public falling out with Arsenal fans. Craig, mm. right decision? Uh, I think he should be out. The t I personally think he should be out the team anyway, to be quite frank with you. No, so I was just a bit confused there because I'm just nice to see you amongst friends again here, you know what I mean? <laughs> Back amongst people that give, show you a bit of love now and again. So I was a little bit taken aback there with the week that you've had. Not quite as bad as Granite Jack is, but not the best. Mm -hmm. What I would say is he came out and, you know, there's been talk about, and, and we can't condone, I can't condone this, you know, people mm. talking about death threats and all that, you know, the kind of nonsense that you get these days from the keyboard warriors is slightly worrying, but that's not to, def to get away from the bigger mm -hmm. picture, is that he's not been able to take the heat. And I, I haven't got a problem with him being left out of the team. This isn't too much, this isn't overreaction. No, what not fans at all. will want. No, not at all. But really? he's been in the team every other Premier League match, save for one. This clearly, clearly, they think they need him. You got to realize what he did is it was huge against the whole Arsenal support. Mm. The whole Arsenal support. So the longer that Unai Emery can leave him away to let this thing settle down, the less chance that will have an impact on the team. And Craig, I think is 100 percent right. He shouldn't have been in the team anyway. Mm. And the fact he's not in the squad, and I hope he's got the brains not to turn up at the game as well. Mm. Just get out the road and let things settle down. If well, you're a player, is that what you want? Don't you want to get back out there? Well, as a player, you do. But I think Unai Emery is making the right decision for, for, for Granit Xhaka and, and for the club, in all honesty. My, my only criticism about how this whole thing was ha handled is that immediately after it was... Unai Emery, who came out and was saying that Granit Xhaka was training well and things seemed to be back to normal and, you know, much ado about nothing, keep it moving. And, and then now this action, which I agree with the boys, is the right one to make. But I think Unai Emery's initial reaction immediately after the incident kind of takes away from the meaning and the meaning of, of, of dropping him. If you're in Xhaka's shoes, do you want to play or do you want to be protected? Because it kind of feels like they're trying to protect them. It does. I think... I I've, I don't want to say I've been, I, I, but I've been booed by my own supporters, right? When I was at Derby County. We you get were, booed here regularly by us. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Boo! Get them off! We lost, to give you an example, we lost 5 0 at Middlesbrough <clears> with a very young team. I was the captain, so I took, I took the brunt of it. And, and when I went to take corners and whatnot, I got booed. Now, the only way to get that behind you, was we had a home game the following week against Southampton at home, and we didn't have a, we didn't have the choice in a relegation battle to start resting players, mm. and as the captain, I had to get back out there, and you've got to then gauge the reaction of the crowd, and the only way you can win them over is not by sitting at home, uh, but is by getting back out there. So from a player's perspective, if he'd get out there in the weekend and scored a couple of goals, whatever you know, whoever they're playing against, no matter playing home or away, whatever doesn't matter you get back out and you do your job properly, that goes some way for them to forget about it. But they won't forget about it whilst you're sat at home. That being said, I haven't got a problem with him not being playing from an Arsenal point of view because, as, as I said and Stevie said, he hasn't exactly uh, been running up and down the middle of the park like Emmanuel Petit or Patrick Vieira. The, the difference is, is that he's had a go at the fans. That's what changes this. 100%. He's the aggressor. He's Absolutely, he's the aggressor. You know, fans will... Well, the situation Craig had, the fans will boo. They're disappointed in the result, disappointed in the performance, so they boo. But you know what? The majority of fans turn up the following week and go, right, come on, let's, let's get after it this week. As opposed to, if he turned up this weekend, all they'd be thinking about is, right, he's getting it. As soon as we see his face, he's getting it, which will affect the others. Another big decision for Unai Emery, what to do with Mesut Ozil is coming off a couple assists against Liverpool. If you're the manager, you start him. <laughs> I don't I mean, see how you. It's tempting, right? It's tempting, I, right? I just don't see You're how. At home. I don't see how you can pretty much, in some ways, abuse Ozo by not picking him, pulling him off, not having him in the squad, and you bring in Danny Ceballos, and then you're going to pick Ozo, a guy who you've completely just just embarrassed, in my opinion, and then play him ahead of Danny Ceballos. So I don't see any way how he can play Ozo ahead of Danny Ceballos. This isn't the spot for Ozil. If, if it isn't here, I mean... Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm with Stevie. Listen, talent-wise, Ozil gets into the squad. The, the trouble is, I, I think he's a little bit of a passenger, especially 
you know, ask him to do any kind of defensive duties. And given the relationship between Emery and, and Mesut Ozil, you don't see him getting picked. My, my criticisms around Unai Emery... What about the game against Liverpool? Continue. I mean, that's, that's a, a positive yeah, but, performance. Yes, but that was Liverpool we'll B-side and, and now, Arsenal's okay. reserves, and, and you can, you know, package that however you like. But my criticism around, around Unai Emery continues in that I'm not sure what he's trying to do with this squad. I'm not sure how he's trying to get them play. I'm not sure what their identity is, what he's hoping their identity is, e even at this point. Uh, and we're a couple of years in, and we still don't know what he's trying to do. So whether you play Ceballos or you, you play Ozil and, and let four or five defend and, and try to build around him that way, and, and at least you have your most talented players in the park, but so be it. But given the way that, that this relationship has gone, again, this like so much else about Unai Emery, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's quite hard to go back to a player of his stature now, isn't it? Uh -huh. After, you know, you know, the ignominy of not travelling and not being in the squad and can't play away from home. And I understand all that, but you've got to try and find it. Sometimes you've got to try and find a way to make it happen. So it's going to be difficult to go back to a player and say to him, listen, you know, can you do the business for me? Because I'm under a little bit of pressure. I kind of get the feeling maybe with Ozo, he's just going to play a waiting game. Mm. You know, he's on big money, he's got a contract, and as Shaq said... Unai Emery is becoming under more pressure as every week goes by. Now, our colleague Julian Laurent said he's not under immediate pressure for his job. We just don't know because we don't know what, what way the Cronkies, the owners of Arsenal, think, whether they know exactly what's going on. I'm sure they know the league position, but I'm not sure if they know the whole story behind the scenes. And they've got Wolves, who are a good side, and then they play Leicester City. It is a big month for Unai Emery. Arsenal Wolves, there's the match our odds. Arsenal 20 to 27. Uh, to get I've the win, no idea according to means. Caesars. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> a little bit complicated. Oh. Uh, their favourites. Who do you think wins? Uh, draw. Wolves went up to Man City, got a win. They're very good on the counter attack. Got pace up front. Uh, I'm not convinced by Arsenal at the moment. I'll go for a draw. More trouble here for Arsenal, Stevie? It's hard to trust them. I'm going to draw as well. I, I, I just don't trust them. And Wolves, Wolves can hurt you. Uh, well, I'll be the contrarian then, because I guess somebody has to be. I go for the Arsenal win, but... Uh, well, don't, I don't feel you need to. <laughs> no, I feel, well, it's like, I, like everybody's saying, it's just so hard to, to call, especially with Arsenal. So, to give Arsenal some love, I'll pick them. Sure, this show is known for nothing, if not uh, well, supporting you know, our Arsenal fans. That's what I do. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.